some handshakes, some hugs, some kisses, some tears, and even some laughter today. But it was a, a low-key reopening of Cook's Corner some nine days after the tragedy. Management saying that the community needed us, and we needed the community. The sights and sounds of Harley's. Yes, Cook's Corner, open for business again. But it will never be business as usual. And it's very different than the last times. I've been coming here that for thousands of hours. Randy Decker, one of the first back in when Cook's reopened this morning. Very somber, very emotional, all kinds of emotions, good and bad. Are, they've been running through me ever since it happened. Support for the community, number one, and to make sure that they're gonna keep going because you can't let this die, it's gotta go on. It's humbling, I mean, you never know what could happen anywhere. You know, and uh, just to pay my respects to the, the families and the deceased and the workers. The world changed here last Wednesday night when an ex-cop came gunning for his estranged wife, wounded her and five others, and killed three. Their photos displayed among the flower-filled memorial outside. Tonya Clark, John Leahy, and Glenn Sprowell, who had a family connection to Paul Brown. He was being a hero that day trying to stop the shooter and unfortunately he lost his life in the process. But um, hats off for him trying to do that. And that's the kind of guy he was. So much support acknowledged by Cook's GM in an emotional Facebook post announcing today's reopening. We want to be here for the community and we need the community here for us. For locals like Roland Trudell, that meant raising money and inspiring a $2,000 donation from the Irvine Auto Center. We got to get the community together and support the business. These all have, everyone that works here has families to feed as well, so we got to keep pushing. Looking back, quick work by OC deputies credited with saving many lives here. They responded in two minutes, taking out the gunman. Other law enforcement agencies will study and learn from this, like Chief Stu Greenberg's department from neighboring Tustin. He was here today as well. We take these things very personal. I guarantee you the people that responded uh, the night that this happened, they're struggling with it too. Back live here outside Cook's Corner, you see the orange and black banners, orange and black, the official colors of Harley. So the bar, the restaurant, back in business, but as I mentioned, things forever changed here. Uh, a very sort of unsettling vibe, Alex and Christine. People very happy to see each other, though, uh, coming together in the sense of community that helps in the aftermath of tragedy. Uh, the dead gunman's wife, Marie, remember the ex-cop that targeted her? She is recovering from her wounds, as are the five others who were wounded that night. Live in Tribuco Canyon, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News.